Hey, Jay Rose here. So I recently received three games from TGG Games uh, to be able to show off to you guys. Uh, so I got Regicide, Duffers, and Black Sonata. So I'm going to open them up today and kind of see what's in the box and then I'll get to learning them later. But yeah, let, let's see what's in them. Uh, I'll start with the small one, so these are the ones aside. So Regicide, a challenging co-op card game. So you recruit your heroes, storm the castle, and defeat the corrupted monarch. monarchy. Uh, contents 52 card deck, pretty simple. It's for one to four players, five to 20 minutes, ages 10 and up. Looks like there's a QR code to learn how to play too. A small rule book, uh, relatively small print, so be mindful of that. Of how to play. And again, player count, time, age, and a QR code on that as well. Uh, the deck of cards, like I talked about, looks like that's sealed. Let's see if it does that. Quick peel. Oh, that worked nice. Some of those don't always cut right where you can open it that fast. Uh, so, first card I see is besides the J. Looks like a scoring card type thing. Kind of almost like a reminder of how to play. A goblin has like a looks like a joker. It's kind of cool. Two of those. So at a quick look, it looks kind of like these are kind of like an, the standard deck of cards that you can play almost any game with, but they have instructions for their own game. And of course the King of Hearts, the Suicide King. different variety or jacks oh there's kind of a cool looking fox on that one looks like several different race types go back through that again of small, almost like a halfling or a kid, almost like a dwarf. That looks like a penguin, kind of cool. Uh, maybe human, elf, lion, cat like creatures, dragons. Let's see, and then we had an owl, that's really cool. Bear head. Kind of the same general sequence. Each number seems to kind of pair with a certain type of race to, to an extent. Uh, honey badger. Honey badger don't care. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what this game is actually like and how it plays. Um, but at bare minimum, that's a really cool deck of cards. Um, I'd be more than happy to play with, regardless if it was the intended game or any other type of card game. Let's get to the next game. Put that one aside. Let's do Black Sonata next. So this is a solo only game one player ages 14 and up and that plays in about 30 minutes so it says it's solitaire hidden movement and deduction It'll be interesting to see how they did that a dark lady shakespeare's london and a 400 year old mystery So 
Uh, I got the Golden Geek 2017 nominee. The Benefactors. Oh, inside the box. A rule book. Little game board. There we go. A map with different locations. Always nice when even small box games they find a way to include a board. So you can still call them a board game as opposed to just a card or a tabletop game. So we got a couple of sealed decks of cards. I'll get to these in a minute. And a little baggie of tokens. All wooden. Looks like they're screen printed. And then some custom shapes. open hopefully it's okay to open this got some clues kind of Victorian style artwork how to adjust the deduction difficulty that's cool so they have easy mode normal and advanced mode it's nice to know especially with s solo games it's nice to kind of change the difficulty as you play more because sometimes you go oh, I beat it once why am I keep why am I playing again but having multiple difficulties will be nice to try out I just have to be careful with the tuck box in that way. There we go. What do we got in here? So shall thou feed on death that feeds on men, and death once dead, there's no more dying then. I don't want to show off too many of these things in case they're actual clues since you're deducing things in the game. Got some interesting phrases and qu quotes to read on those. Question mark cloud kind of base. Probably clues. Some tree cross house. So probably referencing different locations on the board it looks like. Then again I'm just guessing because I've not looked at the rules. These look like locations. Now I don't know if you're supposed to. It does look like some of these have little punch outs in the card itself. But we'll see what those are for once we actually play the game. Let's fit it back in the tuck, bo tuck box nice, pretty easily, not too tight. Does have that nice plastic insert, pretty simple, but holds everything in place at least. A couple extra baggies. Index, story, aim of the game. Talk about components, that'll be good. Concepts, setup. 
Got a stealth deck apparently. Looks like it good, gives you a good layout of how when it's set up when you're playing and labels everything. So that's really nice. Now to play. Okay, so yeah, so those punches do do come into come into play because it looks like you punch them and they're, they're a keyhole that you look through. Out of score, adjusting the difficulty. Other kind of sequences. Credits, and then a quick reference. That's that's always nice too. Yeah, so this should be interesting to try out. Let's see what this booklet is. Backstory, possibly. Kind of who some of the artwork artwork is based on. It looks like. And the sources where they got the information from. That's that's cool. So, wonder how historically accurate some of this is and what it relates to. I'll have to read through that later too. Yeah, that was Black Sonata unboxing. Uh, let's get to the next game. This next one is Duffers, a golf-inspired deck-building game. Should be interesting. Uh, one to four players, ages 14 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. So this looks like the longest of the three games that I just got. But they all have a solo mode, which is really cool, which is helpful right now. Uh, so let's see, Duffers is everything you love about golf, the challenge, the strategy, the joy of watching others shank one into the tall grass. So it's kind of like golf, you want the lowest score. Okay, so it's, it says there should be some mats and score pads and manual cards and chits. Uh, at first glance, that's kind of fun artwork that the squirrel or groundhog, whatever you want to call it, running off the ball. You know, on the back it looks like a groundhog or prairie dog, but on the front it looks more like a squirrel, so it's hard to know what they intended it to be. Just have a little bit of spot, spot UV just on the, squ the squirrel and ball, which is kind of nice. Uh, and the letters, too. There's a rule book right here on top. Reminder of how many it plays, age, and time length. Uh, nice, and, nice and easy to read. Not too small the lettering. Looks like it breaks it down pretty well. Talks about the card anatomy. How to set up. What the holes are like. Looks like you can set up a nine hole course. Teeing off. Oh, let's start. So playing the game. Finishing around a nice little glossary of terms, which is nice, especially for those who aren't into games as much. Like it even describes what deck building is, so that's really helpful for all players and skill levels. Different way to play. Oh, here's a solo mode set up. The good instructions on that, and then an overall score and. Okay, so a single punch board, one, two, three, four. Let's see how well these punch. Okay, so pretty soft, don't hang too much, so it's a pretty small tab on the cardboard. So it's not catching very much, less likely to tear, but not so loose that they just immediately fall out. So just the lightest amount of pressure seems to get them to fall just right. Yeah, so that one. A slightly bigger tab so it didn't fall. So you can see the edge of the tab just barely. But in the grand scheme of things, I'd 
I'd rather it be like this instead of catching too much tearing when I punch it. Might as well finish punching this real quick. Got this far. My sturdy, thick enough cardboard, so I can expect these pieces to last. So it looks like player cards, so you can where you can put your deck and your caddies. Very little representation. Only one sided. Don't forget the name of the game on the back. Got your score pad. Well, it's only small pad, but it looks like they're front and back, so it's helpful. This looks like that retaped type pack. But nice, large, chunky cards. Nice, nice linen finish, at least. Each hole has a name, it looks like. General scoring intention on it. Looks like a golf course. And cards. Descent into Madness is the last one. Two more decks of cards. Uh, pretty decent sized decks. Uh, plastic insert. So let's see what's in the decks of cards. I guess I could have checked for that quirk release. Nice linen finish. Uh, different types of clubs. Oh, broken tee. Yeah, that's pretty common in golf, at least in my experience. Then again, I'm not great at golfing, so maybe I can do better at this game than if I was on the links. Chip shot. The vintage driver. Nice, nice little woody. Oh, whiff. I uh, did that a lot learning to play. Toad. Yeah, got stuck in the ground. Hit, hitting her. Oh, slice. Slice and hook. I all too well know the perils of that when trying to play. Look at this next deck. I guess that one technically had a quirk release. Um, if I looked a little bit harder next time, I would have seen it faster. Uh, oh, reference cards. That's always nice. You can do it on a turn. Completion checklist. Always nice to have in a game. You got your putters, gimmies. You got your regular woods, your fairways. Oh, the Miracle Pitching Wedge. It's a miracle if I could hit that. Miracle 9, 9, 8, 7, 6. 6 was my go-to club. I could hit it the same every time. Wouldn't matter if I was driving it or chipping it. 6 was my go-to club. Coaches, trainers, pros, groundskeeper, a manager, a guru, and of course the gallery. Somebody's watching you. There's our gopher, yep. So we'll say the box cover was a gopher. Really woody. Yeah, so it looks to an extent they took some creative license around the concept of Caddyshack and some sense with the groundhog. And a lot of kind of different golf accessories and whatnot you might see players use and have on the course with them. Some essential, some not. Ah, oh, not. Yep, bad luck. Got your ball. Found a penny. Oh, then you lost it. Mulligan. Yeah, when you're learning to play, mulligans happen a lot, so. Just ask your your fellow party members before you take a mulligan. T 
speed up ready to play. Yeah, so so at least theming wise this looks really solid. Looks like they've done a lot to integrate that theme throughout the whole thing, which would be interesting to play. Put those back in the box pretty easily. Now, I do notice that this did not have any Ziplocs in it, but Black Sonata had extra Ziplocs. So I may end up stealing one of those for all these chits. But other than that, a pretty solid game at first glance. Be interesting to try it out. Definitely a theme you don't see often in gaming. Oh, almost forgot those cards. bag them up later. Yeah, so these were from TGG. Uh, they did send me copies to review and show off to you, but either way, I'm going to have fun playing them, trying them out. Already int really interested in experiencing them, considering the artwork and all the different themes. So thank you for watching. And as always, play games and spread joy.